and welcome so today i would continue uh, talking about uh, poly and how you can use uh, something called bulkhead isolation so let's get started uh, i have done some other sessions on poly so you may want to watch those to get a context for what bulkhead is uh, but basically for bulkhead uh, what uh, it comes from a term that is used in uh, ships uh, basically to prevent flooding they have various compartments or bulkheads so if that bulkhead uh, is essentially given a quota so it can fill up with water and it won't fill up in the rest of the areas so you can prevent uh, uh, something overflowing into the other areas so in the context of http and services or something you can essentially think of a service which is taking incoming requests and you only want to allow certain number of incoming requests to be handled by the service concurrently and after that it should reject any new requests that come in so let me show you some of the demo code i have created to simulate that and describe to you uh, basically initially i'm going to call setup and in the setup uh, i am going to set up the bulkhead isolation policy similar to the one uh, we have done before but specifically for bulkhead and we have an endpoint that we will call uh, and let's make sure this endpoint is accessible and uh, we have an http client so that's pretty much it uh, to simulate uh, concurrent connections, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a task list of 10 tasks essentially and in the task list I'm going to run uh, essentially this fetch function, the hsync function fetch and in the end I'm going to wait for all these tasks to finish. So I have 10 tasks running and uh, the task currently the way they are going to be structured is uh, uh, they will use the bulkhead isolation policy execute async and call the endpoint that we already have kind of learned how to see and uh, that's pretty much it and if there isn't any exception in this area uh, we will just catch that expect exception and uh, print the message so that's pretty much uh, what it is so let's uh, get started by setting up the bulkhead policy so i have written some code to save on uh, typing here and i'm going to copy that and uh, show it to you So let me just uh, uh, copy that here. So you can see this is uh, pretty straightforward. I'm setting up a bulkhead isolation policy using policy.bulkhead uh, async from poly. And uh, I'm saying the number of concurrent co uh, connect maximum parallelization in terms of the connections is two and then uh, there could be two others waiting in the queue. So that's the two parameters, two and two so that I can easily demonstrate to your problem and what we are saying is on bulkhead rejected we will uh, uh, call a method and in this method this would just be a diagnostic message so I can show you what those methods are so let me uh, copy that over here so you can see uh, just to format the document to make it easy to see so when this uh, bulkhead is rejected we are just saying bulkhead is rejected and we just say this task is completed. Uh, I have also created another log bulkhead information uh, method and what this method does is uh, very straightforward. Uh, it, in, it can look into the policy and uh, print a count of the bulkhead available count as well as the bulkhead queue available count and we'll call this function uh, whenever our fetch method is called in the beginning here. So that's uh, the setup so that's pretty much all you really need to uh, uh, set up the bulkhead policy and to be able to run it and uh, let's see it uh, in action as to what this does so I'm going to clear my console here and say uh, .NET run So as you can see when the policy is uh, running, let me clear this previous output so it's a little bit easier to see the new output. In fact, I'll just create a new terminal so it doesn't get polluted by the old terminal here.
so uh, basically it should create some 10 tasks and you would uh, so here uh, now it should be easy to see here we said initially the bulkhead available count is 222 two, two. then the queue available count is also 222 two, two. and you can see at some point of time because we are overwhelming our service available count has gone to zero and when that happens you can see uh, we are uh, going into the our uh, method on bulkhead rejected and printing a message and here you can see the messages coming out of the exception that the queue is full and the execution was rejected. So essentially this is a very uh, good way to control uh, essentially the input to your service in terms of number of connections you can accept and what you can do. So it's very straightforward to use this and obviously you can combine this uh, bulkhead policy with uh, other policies that Poly provides and doing a Poly wrap. So thank you for watching this short screencast and I'm going to add this under C Sharp HTTP bulkhead isolation with poly. Thanks a lot and you have a great day.